here is the transfer learning is a topic that I'm going to discuss today. So as you can see some, I mean, from the name is transfer learning, something that I'm, I want to learn something, but probably I will get some transferred knowledge from the previous or other models test. So the motivation for that is, let me see, it's a pre-trained models. What I'm saying is that, say you have data set or image, what, and using that some kind of the existing data set or images that I trained, that means I build up the models and learned all the weights and bias. So that's kind of the, the typical way of approaching of to solving the supervised classification problems based on the training that I said, All right? And let's think about, say, I got this and so I'm, I'm done. I complete the project and I got another data set. I mean, it, should, it could be totally different. It could be the similar with the previous one. But no matter what, whether the data set is, is completely different or, or similar, I'm going to build another models and I'm going to train from the scratch, from the scratch, that's the key, from the scratch. But I think it's, it's a, something, it, it kind of waste of our, our the, the, the times and the efforts. So the idea is that, Many uh, image net competing. That's I'm I'm going to explain in 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 the other presentations. But the idea is that let me see. Let's see. Say this is the we have some we have some image, and the out, output or classifications. There's a bunch of the image with a different class or different object on it. And I build up the CNN structures for classification problems. And, and conceptually, I, I think I mentioned several times that from, from input to the, up to here is, it's kind of, it's, it's, uh, it's acting like feature extraction part or feature learnings. And probably the downstream part will be like classifications. And if we have different types of image, but here, this part is like, if you given the input data set, the, what the purpose of this is a fe the feature extraction or feature learning process, right? So for, for transfer learning is that, why don't we use this one, right? So the idea is that if we have very similar pattern of in the data set or the images, I'm gonna fix all the weights and bias in this part because if this one is like, if this image is gonna, it's gonna extract the key features that, and just having different classifiers at the end. So only thing is that we don't have, because these, these the weights and biases are the fixed or constant or TF dot constant. So we don't need, we don't need to spend like more, like we don't need to, we don't have to waste our ties to train all the weights over here. The only thing that we need is, is here. Weights and bias for classifications. In that case, probably you can, because we have less number of, I mean, few number of the weights that we need to learn. So in, in that case, we don't need big data set because this one is probably, we already assume that we, this part is done by the another data set, right? So that's the idea of transfer learnings. And if we have a good 
pre-trained models, it already exists. Why don't we just use that one? So we just make a small changes at the end, which believe that is 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 kind of having different classifier classifiers put it. So that's the motivation of transfer learnings. What I'm going to do, there's some famous pre-trained models. So let's why let's study for that. That's and this is another presentations and I name it is uh, maybe I can say pre-trained pre-trained CNN models. So in there's a you might heard of this that there's a competitions, the image net competitions. And the basic idea is that they in in, in, in in their website they put a bunch of images and they have 1,000 classes. And every year they do comp the, 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 the classification accuracy, they do competitions. Okay. And over here in in let me see over here. In 2010, uh, probably this will be the 20, maybe error rate was 28, and 2011 was it like like that. But I mean, that's the and 2012. In the AlexNet, there is, let me see the name. And name is this guy. It's a master student from University of Toronto, and he suggested it. And he just like almost ten percent made a huge improvement or enhancement. So like everybody start talking about the deep learnings again. That's the kind of historical things related to the image net competitions. Right after that, everybody trying to do the CNN. And like get, gets better and better. And 2000, 2015 was the, I mean, this probably I would say the accuracy is like, that's the accuracy. But you might heard like this now is AI is better, the perform, performance of AI is better than human beings because the, 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 is that here in general it's known that it's a human performance of this, the image net competitions is like 5% like errors. So this one is better. This guy is better, the ResNet. So I'm, I'm gonna explain what there's some like, AlexNet, the famous name, and VZZNet, and GoogleNet, and ResNet. I'm, I'm going to show you the work, the structures, and uh, discuss in, in, in more details later on. And as you look, as you can see, the number of layers are like, so that's, that's just we call it deep learnings. Yeah. And one thing that I mentioned at this point is that here is just think about it 152 layers. And if you have deep or many layers, the one of the big issues was that it was that it's, it's a uh, vanishing gradient vanishing problems. And I'm going to just so related to ResNet, I'm going to discuss it. So that's the that's kind of let me see starting from here i mean these the the only reason that is you're just looking at the names and those are the famous names alexnet and mobile net inceptions and resnet and vcc things like that and in 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 1998 
this guy, I think you, you all, all know, is, is, a, is a French American professor in NYU. It's uh, Jan Le Kuhn. He invented CNS structures in, 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 in like almost, almost 20 years ago. Right. And these are like basic component of modern CNN structures. And he demonstrated with the MNIST data set at, at this time and with the ABCD and alphabet. That was from his, his name is Lunet. That was kind of the first, the first try for like this one is like father of father of father of CNN thing. And again, in, in, in 2012, we made a huge impact or improvement in the image, image net competitions and uh, by this guy. And from his name is, is Alex Net. And he, he remember it's, it's a, uh, gradient vanishing in behavior, so he used values as, as a nonlinear equation functions and dropouts and data augmentations. Those all the techniques that uh, techniques that we already discussed, and he he implement those kind of things to 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 compete the competitions for and for ImageNet and for image classification problems. So that's those the exact structures that he used for that competition. And from, from he's also he's a famous guy from, from, from and, uh, he's this, this, this guy is from is Cambridge or Oxford, I'm, I'm not sure. I think it's from Cambridge, but he, he, he is uh, the, it's uh, from the name is it's very deep convolutions. Basically, what he did is he put more layers. That's what. So it's a simply very deep. So we call it VZZNet. Okay. And that's the. This is kind of structures that he he had it in 2014. So, I mean, you can just think you know, like VZZ16 or VZ19 is like one of the famous, the CNN models for pre-trained. And Google also is like Google that. And there's some, they're very, I mean, the, the, the idea is that in, in the previous one as inputs, and the uh, sequence of convolutions. But he, here is what Google did is that they have, like here is input and the output. We have like bunch of branches. So that's inceptions. And you can think of a Google Lens. So that's the, what the Google company suggested it. And the ResNet is uh, the guy from the Facebook as that he, 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 he suggests ResNet and it's related to residuals. So remember it was the 152 layers and I'm going to, so what the, uh, the idea is that if you just think of a play, Plane, plane. I think it's it's, it's the, in in the, all the, the neural net that we discussed so far. Is that say we have X and we have layers. We can in this is maybe like convolution layers, whatever. And with the nonlinear equation functions, we repeat that. So if you want to have this is inputs and the outputs. Maybe it's, this is so. This is what I'm trying to approximate. But the approximated functions will be in this case, it will be the they have structure of artificial neural net or deep learnings. 
right? It's approximation problem. It's universal approximative functions that. So basically, what this is is a, it's a trying to find the map. So in 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 this small segment, small set is trying to fit h of x. And what he recommend he suggested it is that res residual net and skip connections. I, I, I'm so basically what it is. So here, say we have. I mean, in the this one is the. Let me show you. Kind of conventional typical neural net. And there's something we connected it. So it's a skip connections. And what trying to do is just, again. I mean here, say we have x. And what? And y of h of x. That's the the, the nonlinear mappings from the input and output. And by having this one, basically what I mean, what I'm trying to say, we have neurons like that. And if we have, if we connect this way, then let me see, we have x, and since we have x, this one is like over here, it's f of x, and the x is connected like this way, x as well. So this is uh, f of x plus x, and h of x. So what, what you don't net this part, trying to approximate is not h of x, it's f of x. Right, so f of x is going to be h of x minus x. So this is difference that we call residual. We want to basically say, so we want to estimate or approximate this, the, the, the residuals. I mean, x is, 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 is it's input, it's given, so it's, uh, it's given information. And h of x and f of x are, in mathematical ways, are, are, those two are identical. There is no difference. But the key thing is that if having this one, the Big advantage there's no gradient vanishing behavior because by at, at, if we are standing over here you can the x is is, is can be seen right so having residual net we kind of surpass the gradient vanishing effect or behaviors that's why we can put a lot of 150 layers we call it rest net so, and this one is, we call it skip connections because we skip the, I mean, this one, we, these are the connections that there are some skipped connections. So F of X, that's, it's a residual mappings. And Let me see, this one is the VZZ net. And if you have these kind of skip connections, it's a residual, it's a rest net. Okay. And the skip connection is, is, is a connection that bypass at, at least one layer. I mean, we can say if these are the combo basic uh, convolutional layer blocks, we can do this one is or it's a skip connections, or probably we can do that way. I mean, it's really up to you. It's 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 really up to you and on on how to design your your 
your structures. It really depends. On, I mean, it depends on you. It's, it's, it's your decisions. And it's often used to transfer local information because here is is in X and Y. Because at, at here you kind of see that you can see the the input information as well. So it's to transfer the the location information, especially if that's the image, by by concatenating and summing features map from downstream to the upstream. For well, that matters, I'm going to, to discuss it when you're talking about the, the fully convolutional neural net, but just remember at this moment. And merging features from the previous resolution is, is having combined the context information with uh, spatial, uh, spatial information. That's uh, it's all related to skip connections. And how you implement this? How do you implement this? So if we do not have this one, let me see. So we have say input. Oh, this one is, I think if you remember, there was an NN something come to this. And if you use a TF that layers, it's more, more like compact or condensed. So uh, I'm showing the TF dot tf dot layers that come with two these we have x and this is the number of channels and this corner size and whether we do paddings and what kind of nonlinear exponential functions that you want to use or just define it so what's that's comb one and for combo two the input of combo two is going to be the output of this is like that like that And here in the max, when you do max pullings here, let me see how I say. Say it's combo one. We have combo two. And I will do max pullings. If over here, if that's the comp two, so this is the structures. Now, since I have skip connections from like that, the, oh, sorry, from here, the input of max pooling will be X plus the output of this. So this this how you implement it. Just by having x over here, that's the only difference. By having that, we just what I did is we implement skip connections. Okay. Just having this one, that's the only difference. Okay. That's how we implement. Skip connections in 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 maybe TensorFlow, and later on it's it's it means the same, right? That's I just I just what I did is that how to implement the residual net or ResNet in 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 in, in TensorFlow. And the next thing is a dense net, it's, it's, it's uh, densely connected. So now we have, as you can see, there are many skip connections. So it's uh, 2017. UNET is, uh, let me see here. Suppose this is layers. And the way we represent it is like, so this is the skip connections. Now we just make it, these are the layers and skipped connections. So it's, it looks like the shape is U, 
alphabet U, so his, his name is UNET. And this one is, is very famous for the, the image segmentation in, I mean, the, the segmentation problems especially specialized in the medical image somehow. Right. So these probably some of the famous name related to CNN and image in a competitions. And from, from our side, we're gonna use that as, as, as a pre-trained models. Each of them has all unique structures and the pro and cons, and as you can hear, and these are the, the structures and all the weights, are, all of them are the, the, the available. So why don't we use that? Because they spend all the this, this smart, smart researchers and, and the people, they spend a lot of time to, 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 to get the better structures and to train the models and to get all the right values for the weights and bias and, and they open it and make it and the public. So it's, it's so that's the idea of 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 transfer learning. Let's move on to So here, what I'm going to do in Jupyter Notebooks, these are the, all the same materials that I just explained it. So I just summary of that. And this is how we implement this. Remember that one for the, how to implement the skip connections. And let's think about, say here, I just install the Keras. And from the Keras, there is some there is some applications, and th these are we, I mean in in the Keras and applications, there's they already have all the models for DenseNet, Inceptions, and like VZZ and Mobile Lab. So that's I'm just gonna take that one as a pre-trained models, and that's. If we do, that's the, let me see, that's the summary of this mobile net. It means that, say we have inputs, the shape and comp, comp one, and these are the, all the structures and kind of description of that, of mobile net, okay? And let me see, I, this is one of the one of the one of the testing images in the image in that competitions okay. then I'm going to what I'm this one is I need to resize it for the right structure for resize it and I'm going to put it in in that input image in the into the models in the pre-trained models and to predict and y of hat so that should be like small ploys with 98% and harvest and things like that. So they they train they 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 train the models and they open it. So for image classification problems, we don't have to do it from scratch again. Just just uh, get the the train the models and use like this to to to, to predict. To estimate what kind of class, and let me use another structure. Go up, and let's see. Maybe why don't we use this one this time? And I want to know the structure of. Uh, uh, oh, here.
Oh, okay. So that's it's gonna take some time to 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 download the pre-trained models. You guys know what I'm trying to do? Halfway. That's, I mean, this one is, that's why I think I, 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 cause this mobile is much lighter than uh, compared to others. And this is like, I think it's much heavier than, cause it's, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's so long. So I'm done and let me, so these are the structures. I mean, this is 19. Okay. Same image and let me, let me see. So again, it's 90, 95% of the snow pool clothes and trailer truck with, yeah. Okay. So now, I mean, now we have uh, all the good models, the deep learning structures that, so you can make use of for, for image classification problems. And on top of that, let's move on to, again, it's a uh, transfer link. That's the thing that I want uh, to describe today. And let me see. So what I did is that from in the VGG 16, now I have, now this is like, 1000 classes and probably you can go to the website to see what kind of class and what kind of image this this is uh, is it's uh is collected for the image in competitions and suppose we have another problem the test the task that we want to solve the classification problem is that we have only five classes and different from these the the our class, I mean, again, I mean, these are the images, but it's a small subset, a small set. We have hat and cube and car and torch screw. Those are the classification problems that I want to solve. And basically what I want to do in, in that case, uh, in typical ways that say I got, I don't, I, I, I'm not sure, like say like some, each, each class I need to collect uh, like, uh, like images or pictures and I need probably will be CNN will be the best. So CNN structures say like, 
I don't know, maybe like say, and I need to define the corner size and the channels and how many convolutions that I need to be at the end. Probably I will do fully convert and we have five fully connected. And that's the, then I'm going to train it from the scratch. So that's the one way. Another way is that, I mean, we have very famous and like well developed model, pre trained models. They are already, they already exist. Why don't we use that? So, we, we, the first thing is that I'm going to use that to, 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 to these problems. And if I, so, but we realized that there was the performance is very poor. So, for example, right, we know that everybody knows this is Q. But that's the that's the the what VGZ sixteen the model is is predict. I, I mean this one is like mosquito net. I'm not sure, but whether among these probably there is no the class for hat or Q. I'm not sure. I mean toilet tissues and envelope and cartoons and these I, I think it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So what I'm trying to do there is using this one, I, I, I think we, we need to, to fine tuning. We need to do it to, 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 to get the kind of right models for, for this specific target problems. So we're gonna assume that these model parameters contain Knowledge transferred from, I mean, let me show you this one. So there's a source data set and there's target data set. You can think of it, this is the, the data set in, in image, image net probably. And this is the, 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 our problem, our, our task. In that case, we have five classes. So in typical ways, we train the up, let me see. Okay, so for what say in, in VZZ net or 16 or 19, whatever, what they do is that they have, I mean, data, there's typo. And this will be the, the source models. What I wanna do in, in target data, we get the same structures, same structures, but up to here we have weights and weight and bias, weights and bias. All the the weights from the pre pre trained models we just copy and paste it. But over here it will be classifiers. And here it's a fixed. Here we train from the scratch. I mean, you say, I would say here with TF constant. Over here, TF dot variables. That's the only difference. And for when you, so, and these are TF dot variables, we have to initialize it, right? So instead of just doing like random initializations, because what does the better way or smarter ways we're gonna initialize it with 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 these values, or we can do random initializations. So that's we because in this part we the knowledge from the, the the image net is transferring because we believe that all the weights over here that's some some kind some kind of knowledge that we learned that we learned by having this kind of structures and transfer learnings I'm going to I want to make use of the knowledge that I learned from the previous experience. That's the key. That's the key idea of transfer learning.
Mm. Let me summarize two things. Here is fine tune and fixed. There's actually, there's two options. You can fix these values. And just only thing is that you, you train the classifier part, part of the, or fine tune means that you, how do I say? Over here, you remember like, Alpha is running rate, right? Over here, fine tuning means that you will get small alphas, and here is your large alphas. That's that's fine tuning. Um, and over here, fixed means it's TF dot constant, so there's no options so it's fixed. But another option that you can do is you can still you can set it as tf dot variables in this part as well we put this, you you're gonna initialize with these the omegas but you can set different learning rate or step size because we know that these size already is, is near in in the right values so that's why i would say it's a fine tunings i'm not gonna allow that it's, it's moving too much a lot You see that difference, but in in this in this in our class, the uh, we're gonna do this. Also. We're gonna fix that, and we will do the train in the last of them from the scratch. So what I wanna do in 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 the example that in in the five class problems, I will define STF dot constant, and over here at the end, we have like. The only thing is, that's the number of weights. I mean, if we have bias, probably you have to add five, but that's the number of unknown or decision variables or weights and bias that I, that we need to train from scratch. These are the constant. Because we believe that these part is like the feature extractions extraction part if the input is image but i mean the features are pretty much the, the similar this part is is knowledge is transferred from others okay So how do you implement it? And you, there's in, in VGC, VGC 16, I will get, get all the weights. And as you can see in, in, let me see, from up to this point, which is up to this point, all of them are TF dot constant. And very over here, is now is tf dot variable. Okay. Now for the testing, once we done the transfer learnings, now it's 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 q. And as you can see, that's the probabilities. Uh, again, it's a uh, it's it's uh, one of the biggest advantage of using the transfer learning is we're going to use the, the, the knowledge that we already know. So we don't have to spend, we don't need too much data set to, to, to train this part. So if we have small number of, number of data set and think about transfer learnings probably, there will be the most like convenient and effective way of of of, of train your models and to, to establish your 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 the, the 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 your your AI models. Okay.
any question on the transfer learnings before I move to the, the lab, the, the, the Jupyter, Jupyter notebook, notebook? Let me move to this one. Let's see. Again, I mentioned the pre-trained models, and in this case, I'm using VZZ16. I mean, you don't you you don't have to use this one. You don't have to stick this one. You can try another one as well, and get the VZZ1. And these are the data set that I have in in small data set, and these are the show you like you have head and cube and cube and screw and head and cube head card cube this i want to know where's the torch is that screw i'm not sure yeah, it looks like it's a screw with the cap what is torch So this is torch. <laughs> okay. So with this one, I want to have, I want to build up the, the CNN models to 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 for this the five class classification problems. And I will I I, I get all the weights and then put it the models. That's the summary. And for I'm going to testing for the target data set. Of course, it is, this is car, and as you can see, the the classification of predictions is 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 for. I'm trying, trying. Right. This is Q, but I don't think there's a class for the Q for image net competitions. I'm not sure, but so this. I mean, also is looking at the probabilities. There is. It, that means it does not work, right? So now I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the transfer learnings. And this is the picture that you need to remember it. And as you can see here, I got all the weights from VZZ16. And these are, remember, this is tf.constant. And here, tf.variable. Bias are the same. Now I'm going to build up the models. These are the weights, but this is constant, constant, and the constant at the end, at the end, let me see, over here, probably fifth convolution layers and fully connected. I mean, here is the structures are the same as the, the CNN and uh, VGG 16s. Only thing is that over here, I'm. I think we, I use tf dot variables. Others are tf dot constant, right? And do the same optimizers and the batch. And uh, I, 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 before the class, I, I, I ran, and these are the, the accuracy and loss functions. And let's do the test. Uh, I think I need to run it again because I just did that. Let me run, run. It's going to take some time. That's the models, optimizations, and the uh, I got single image from the test using the batch maker that I made. And let's see if the accuracy is not that high because I stopped in the middle of training. So this is the, the I picked, I select randomly select the image from the test. So everybody sees obviously, obviously this is head. And okay, that's the probabilities. And it predict head. 